so I have to imagine you had to get into some type of massive shape to, to play this role. Yeah. Take us through that, the training to just even get in shape to even play this role. Well, you know, you think you're in shape until you start to fight. And then you realize you're not in shape at all because fight shape is, is a very different type of conditioning. So we would train five to six hours a day in the wow. early in the day. So we would be in the gym, coach and I, just me and him sometimes, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and then I would come home, I'd get my nutrition in. Then I'd be back in the gym in a couple of hours, lifting weights to shape my body. And that was the first half of the film, right? Because I was going from young to heavyweight champion. So week by week, I would have to fluctuate my weight. So so on, let's say this week, it's, was it Monday or Tuesday? And I would, it's Tuesday. So yeah, I'd be 225 this week. Mm. But I would have to be heavyweight champ next week. So I would start picking up my weight around about Wednesday so mm -hmm. that by the time next week started, I was at like 242, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I, getting into fight shape was incredible and it's what helped me during the second half of the film because I had to gain a lot more weight. So I had to go, I went from 225 to 275 in five weeks. Wow, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. It's fluctuating going back and forth. What was it like the first time you met George Foreman? What was that first conversation like when you first met him? It, it was incredible. Honestly, I didn't even know what to ask the guy. I, oh. had, no, I, I had no idea. I mean, it, what do you ask someone who is such an, a well-known icon, who has impacted generations upon generations of people, not just in the fight game, but also with the grill? You know him from many commercials. Mm-hmm. So he's been in, been in our lives for so long. So what am I? What am I to ask? How? What could I ask someone like that mm -hmm. except to just sit and listen? So me meeting him, it was it was like I just wanted to give him the deference to speak. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to over talk him. I never wanted to interrupt him. Mm -hmm. But I remember I was sitting there and I was just like staring at him. Mm -hmm. And something in the back of my mind was like, Chris, you gotta ask him a question. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> So I ended up being more conversational, but yeah, I just was, I was honored to be in his presence. Was he tough on you? You know, as you were learning the lines and, you know, playing the role, was he kind of like tough on you or did he just kind of step back and just let you kind of do your thing? He stepped back and let me do my thing. He exhibited a lot of faith in my ability to do That's my cool. thing as a professional. And he just let me do that, which, you know, I did want some guidance in a way, but he gave me what I needed. And I think that the experience that I have as an actor over time gave me what I needed to do my best at doing his story justice. That's good. What were some of your favorite roles? I mean, scenes wise, when, you know, playing in this movie that you like, you know, that, yeah, I, I'm glad I did that scene. Like, were there any specific scenes that like stood, stood out to you to like, wow, that was, that was powerful. No, no specific, no specific, <laughs> specific scene. That's mm -hmm. what I meant to say sticks out to me, but because they all, they're all important in their own way, right? Mm -hmm. Very important and very specific. So I wouldn't say any of them I was looking forward to more than any others, but I think the most exciting thing for me to do during this film was to film the fight scenes. Mm -hmm. you know, that took a lot and it took a lot of sacrifice and effort to do that. So yeah, watching those fight scenes was incredible. Getting that, getting that part of him down, I think was probably the most difficult and most specific because you remember the grill guy and you remember remember the fighter. Right. You don't you don't really know who he is outside of the ring or not being on a commercial or not preaching. So those other elements were things that I needed to extract from him when I met him. But what people could recognize, right, being the fighter in the ring is something that I didn't want to get wrong. So it was a lot of fun getting in there with the fighters, busting it down, throwing some heat and, and making it happen. 